Welcome back to Garage Kate. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to fit an aftermarket fuel pump, specifically in this instance, a Saad 130L to my DA52V Suzuki Every Van. If you'd like to see how to remove the tank, check out the previous video that I did uh, that is fairly detailed and explains why I'm doing this. The issue that I'm having is when I start the car and it's hot, the air fuel ratio goes all the way to lean and I suspect that is caused by a bad fuel pump and the engine being starved at startup. So that's why I'm changing the pump. I removed the pump in the last episode. It looked fine, but I already bought the pump. It is an upgrade, so we're gonna do it anyway. And it looks like it's gonna to have to be modified straight out of the packet, so it's what's unusual about that. Now it has been a long time since I pulled one of these apart, but uh, from what I remember they're fairly straightforward. This has got three clips. We're going to try and undo these without snapping them. That would be nice. A screwdriver is probably in order. Just a little blade screwdriver. Just to, just to pry it up a bit. Definitely don't want to snap these because it is a Sunday and um, I'm pulling my daily apart, which means that if, uh, if I break something here, there is no way for me to go get new stuff. Okay, now, see that? It's all full of junk. I'm not sure what that is. It's all bits of metal and paint and shit. Well, that's really uh, not good at all. Let's uh, remove this. Okay. Um... So the bottom's come off, but the pump does not come out. I think that's because you have to take this piece off first. So let's do that. Yep. Oh, I just covered my shoe in, covered my foot in gasoline. Be aware that you are working with gasoline, and if you smoke, um, you probably catch fire, which, um, be uh, that it help you quit at least a little bit of prying you don't want to pry too much and snap anything and she's still not letting go right so I think I just actually have to pull yeah there we go 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 okay and this is the plug here so we undo that one now we're free okay now we have to remember where that went. <laughs> what size is this thing? I forget. It's a, uh, I'll put it in the top corner or something. Um, there is quite a bit of shit actually on this filter and around this filter. So I am happy to be replacing it. The pump we'll be using is a Saad, Saad 130, 130 liters per hour. Um, and the reason for that is because this is the one recommended by Monster Sport for the cappuccino. And I figure if it's good enough for a cappuccino, it's good enough for this application. So we're running with this. Feel free to disagree. Just leave your disagreements um, in your own head. We don't really need them in the comments. Um, so yeah, okay. These are the same size. Yep, same plug. Well, actually, this has got smaller, smaller pins, which is an interesting uh, development. Do we need to de-pin? We might need to, unless this just works. If it does plug in. It's the same plug, but these pins are smaller. This could turn into being a lot more of a drama than... I'd hoped. All right, let's get this, get you back up out of there. Um, now, if I de-pin this and I do it wrong, then um, I'm screwed. Also, if I do this wrong, I'm also screwed because I'm only getting one shot at this.
pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Now before we uh, go screwing ourselves here, let's just make sure we get this in the right side. So it has to go in this side here. Right, this goes in this way. Okay, so that's one done. Now it's foolproof. I just have to get this one. That's not really foolproof. I could still f*** this up yet. Um, get this one out. Put the two wires into this one pin. And then feed it in here. This is nerve-wracking because it's a daily. Like, if I mess this up, how do I go by parts? I, I can't. So, um, I, I'm not enjoying this at all. Really. <laughs> You have to see that one. I actually broke the, the uh, plastic while I was trying to get the other one out. So that's there's no going back to the old pump. Um, yeah, no going back. Just the way I like it. No, always like to be able to go back. But it will not be possible in this case. Um, the, the side pump was uh, $5, about $5 more than a standard one, so meh, it doesn't really matter dollar wise. Let's just cut that off here, shall we? As close as we can, keep as much wire as we can. Right, about that much. About the same over here. Yep. Now these two have to go together and then somehow fit into here. That's in. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. It's not pretty, but it's in. It's not coming out. I believe I have a good connection. I will check that with a multimeter very shortly. There we go. Getting that out is going to suck if I need to, but hopefully I don't ever need to. Right. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to check for continuity. Does this end... Um, does the will electricity flow from this end to this end? And you can do that on your multimeter by finding the mark that looks like it kind of looks like sideways Wi-Fi. Um, and then what that will do is if basically, right? So blue to blue. So we're good there. Um, the black. Does the black work? The black one's really the perfect. Does it work to here? Got it. Yep. Okay. So let's check um, check resistance on the black one. Should be zero or close to it. Point one, point two. Same as this. So um, and and on a blue one. Point one, point two. So yep, zero. As good as zero with um, as far as this is concerned. So we have a good connection. We can put it all back together again and um, then hopefully the car will start. Hopefully the car will run better than what it was before is what we're really going for here. Put this back on. Now we're good to go. That can go together like that. We can push the, the pump into its... into its hole like that that can go in there we go push that further in right we're back together 
Yep. Happy with that. Make sure it's plugged in. Done. Put our rubber on the bottom. Clip this on. There we go. And we are back together as a, should be a functioning fuel pump, but with a uh, Saad 130 litre in it, um, which should be quite a lot more than what it had before. And that's good because it's turbo. We need all of the fuel. Right. Just tidying up those wires, making them look nice. Oh, we're not clipped in yet. There we go. Now we're clipped in. Clipped in good. Now it's just a matter of putting it back in the car. As you can imagine, I don't have much uh, battery power left. I'm at 13% after filming that. So let's just get this done as fast as we can. And hopefully you get to see it all. Now I remember the orientation of the way round this goes. Because I know these hoses go to the front. But the first thing we need to do is get it actually into the tank. So we have uh, accomplished that. Wait a minute, we didn't check the seal. Ah, it looks good. <laughs> That'll do. Right, so that's that. We need to put our metal ring through the hoses and then locate it back on. You'll notice that there's these uh, raised pieces here and here that uh, correspond with these pieces here so that you can line it up with the bolt holes all right it's very dark out here too it's uh, approaching winter it's already october right now we'll get those lined up and then we want this to be oh there's actually an arrow on this showing which way is forward that's helpful too the arrow there that's pointing forward our little uh, tabs have uh, lined up holes are lined up all good put it back together hopefully it works <laughs> So you lift the fuel tank back into place, put the bolts in as you can. Um, here's a, a tip. Don't paint anything under your uh, tank with uh, paint that isn't petrol or gasoline resistant. Otherwise it goes sticky. Um, I don't need to tell you that. I just need to tell the previous owner that. Or at least the person that probably, probably the person that did the shuck end would have done that. Just sprayed black paint around so it looked nice. Um, don't do that. And that is it. That is how that is done. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll answer them or uh, perhaps save them and use them for the next time I go live. Ask me personally if you have a question. Uh, but that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, press subscribe. If you would like to support this channel, you can do that by getting your name on the Garage K door or picking up some merch, perhaps a t-shirt or a hoodie, something like that, maybe a sticker. Details on those are in the description. I will see you in the next episode. Later.